All right, Brian, thank you. Well, Dayton area leaders are hoping they have found the new vehicle that will replace what was once built by GM. The new one is called the UAV. And Dave DeMarco is live with the high hopes for a plane that doesn't even need a pilot in the cockpit. Dave? Well, city leaders are billing Dayton as the UAV capital of the world and telling everyone it is an industry that is about to take off. It weighs just 25 pounds and can fly for 10 hours on a gallon and a half of gas, flying under the radar but out of sight or earshot of the enemy. It sends images with its 10x zoom camera back to users like former Marine Vernon Rummel, who piloted several flights in Iraq. So they can fly ahead of the vehicles in the convoy and see who's setting up uh, either an IED or a, uh, an ambush. So you're basically saving, saving American lives. You saw that UAV with an engine the size of a weed eater? Well, they're making them in all sizes. This one, obviously, a lot bigger, but as you see here, still no pilot inside. But what almost all the unmanned aerial vehicles have in common is research for their camera sensors is being done in Dayton either at UD's Research Institute or the Air Force Research Lab. If you're involved in sensor technologies, which are part of aerospace, UAVs, advanced materials, or RFID technologies, the place to be in the whole world, the best place to be is in Dayton, Ohio. City of Dayton officials are meeting with business leaders hoping to land a big manufacturing contract. But one manufacturer who happens also to be a Beaver Creek native sees a disconnect with the local corporate culture. There's a lot of, obviously, manufacturing capability that could be expanded on here in Dayton to uh, access the market. There are a lot of things that we need to do here locally to make our area more competitive with other areas around the country. UAV production is expected to soar if they can work out a deal with the FAA to open up civil and commercial airspace, allowing for private use in America. Reporting live, I'm Dave DeMarco, 2 News.